stand closer to me. My feet are burning hot, though. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> Hi, everyone. We're here at the home of Kim and Dave, and Kim has agreed to show us her garden. Uh, it's in Kitchener, and she has some really cool ideas for gardening in small spaces. Take it away, Kim. Thanks, Mom. Um, hi everybody, uh, I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of our backyard to show that although we have a good sized yard with a pool and some space for the family time, uh, we also do have some vegetables and some other plants growing and you really don't need a gigantic grass space uh, or a garden space in order to be able to mix a little of your veg growing along with your perennials and, and other annuals. Oh, well, there's Kathy. So all around the edges here you've got all sorts of things growing. Absolutely, and then, and then we also here. have a couple raised beds as well. Yes, tell us what's in here. All right, so in this raised bed, you'll see a good combination of herbs. You've got some holy basil, some oregano, got some gorgeous pak choy. We like to buy vegetables that are cut and come again, which just means you can remove the outer leaves and allow the center to keep growing. Got sage and a few basil, and then we have some gorgeous lettuces here. Again, we're gonna remove the outer leaves and let it continue to grow. Our kale overwinters in here. It's had a little bit of caterpillar damage, uh, but our kale overwinters here often and we're able to just harvest as we go. We've got some uh, thyme, nutmeg thyme, and then some sweet marjoram in this bed here. Nice, and some onions. Yeah, some onions as well. Nice. And what do you got here? Oh, this is just some, you know, the garden centers had some limited stock this year. Uh, so this is our attempt to make a thriller, spiller, filler <laughs> kind of moment while not normally having the normal uh, selection that we might have chosen in other years. And we just threw it in there and hope for the best. All right. But yeah, it looks pretty great. So far, nice and healthy this year with all this sun. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and here's another one. Yeah, we're really lucky to have the space for two of these veggie trugs. Um, this is the large size, but they actually come in different sizes, balcony size, patio sized. We're really lucky to have the two, the two big ones, but you can see we're, we're coming along with some peppers already this year. Uh, we have a lot, I, one of my favorite things is, is pepper, to grow hot peppers and peppers. These are peppers I've brought the seeds home from our family's garden in Portugal. And mm -hmm. so we grow them every year. Uh, and then you'll see again some onions, some herbs, some more peppers of all variety and shapes. Um, and then we even have our little tomato friends coming along in here, uh, mixed with some more peppers. This pepper I started uh, just on Boxing Day in an indoor hydroponic um, moment. And so we're just letting that carry on and see. I actually don't even remember what kind of seed I put in because <laughs> that was December 26th. Uh, but we'll find out, I'm sure, when the fruit comes. This still comes back year over year, and you can see I have a little friend. So I'm gonna put a little netting on these guys because last year some bird bird friends took them all uh, just as they got mature. So I'm gonna bring that uh, a little net over that guy. Tomato, peppers, yeah, just peppers, and then I actually what is this? I forget some kind of it a time. Like time for breaking. The eye, I forget honestly. You know what? Sometimes we lose our tags. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> It'll taste good. It will. It's fine. What is this, Kim? Oh, these are just unplanted yet. Sorry, guys. I just didn't plant them. These are the, the same little, what are they called? Love lies bleeding. Oh, yeah. So okay. they're going to make their way into a planter or into the okay. garden bed at some point. All yeah, right. Unfinished. But this is a good spot. This is a rain barrel that, um, if you want to get that. Yeah. This is a good option. Um, the other one we have is planted, but this is actually just a rain barrel uh, that will capture the rain uh, as it falls. And you can plant a little herb or veggie garden, tiny one, in its top. Uh, it has enough space. Right now it's not full of soil, uh, but in a normal year you would see this full of herbs and nasturtiums and things like that uh, that we would use in our garden. So right. du dual, dual purpose and small space. <laughs> All right. So the secret garden shed. <laughs> That's my secret garden. Yeah, for anyone who watches Carson Arthur on HGTV, Gardening Expert, I uh, picked up that little sign at his store out in um, Prince Edward County. Went on a trip last year. <laughs> it was my little Carson Carson moment. Oh, more peppers. More peppers again. Um, these are not jalapenos. They're jalapenos that are not hot. That, that's oh. the funny name. Some more Portugals from Pepper. What the heck is this one? I think it's paprika. Yep, paprika peppers. They're not looking so good, uh, but you know, good they'll come time. along. They'll come along. No drama llama mat. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and then you'll see my unruly and and um, not rule following giant raspberry bush here mm -hmm. that every year I chop huge hunks off following <laughs> zero rules of gardening etiquette I just cut chunks off and it still does fruit twice twice a season we'll get we'll get them so you can see they're they're well on their way uh, this year and we'll probably get a double again uh, not looking at the dead leaves you're gonna also see you can really throw a hanging basket just about anywhere and this is a tumbling tom and, and it will probably have a good burst of life and then be all done pretty sure they're they're determinate Gargoyle back here. <clears throat> That's Clooney. <laughs> Clooney. We have George and Clooney. Um, this this bed is very hot and very dry, so we do have a limit to what we can really live in here without constant watering. So you'll see just a collection mm -hmm. of daylilies and iris and hosta. The iris have spent, as you see. Um, but along the back fence, we're growing some cucumber and some sweet peas up the vine, and I do water them regularly or they would have no hope. And this is a very prolific and long, long aged red currant bush. It's been here, you can see it's going up and through the fence. Um, and that's, oh, we're getting some insect activity okay. as well. In well, the bee house. Here, in the bee house and butterflies. Nice. Uh, but this, this has been here a very long time. This is actually an edible plant. Um, gosh, what's the name of it? You guys know the name of it. Blood sorrel, maybe? It's very bitter, but it's a, a lettuce type. Hmm. Um, and it, as you can see, it's been so hot, it's gone to seed, but it's very beautiful colors. There are. And you look, ooh, pickles. Yes, these are my very beautiful looking pickling cucumbers. We are starting to see some little, there are, there's lots and lots and lots of buds, but you will see a few little guys coming along. It's pretty early yet. Lots of pollinator activity out here though, so we're, we're pretty hopeful. Oh, there's one. There you oh, are. There we go. It's yeah. a big guy. So they're coming along before too long. And then again, just a very tiny space. You can see how tiny this is. is a matter of two, three inches at the outset. And so a few little daylilies and little hostas that you can keep in control by cutting back each year. And you're going to be able to fill up your space and still have it look beautiful. Is this George? This is Watts. Oh. He's named Watson for my grandparents' uh, last name, and I inherited it from Grandma. Oh, so okay. that's Watts. George is coming up. Don't no, worry. Okay. Yeah, okay. you won't miss him. Okay. He's my gargoyles, and then beautiful tansy. Mm. Smells really fragrant. Geraniums. Geraniums. Oh, this is not. <clears throat> Yeah, a little hanging with some ornamental peppers. These are, I think, screaming hot, so I don't think I would try to eat them. Uh, but you can, apparently. I just I just don't think I would. If someone dared you, would <laughs> someone, you? Oh, probably, yeah. I probably oh, okay, would. I'll keep but, that like, Maybe mind. another day. Yeah. <laughs> None of you want me to keep speaking through the video. And then some roses. Uh, I think I picked these up from Charitable rose uh, programs where they were donating the proceeds oh, to breast beautiful. cancer and other types of uh, cancer organizations and they're thriving as you see I do take some inside for my bouquets each every couple days uh, this is a brand new rose he's had better moments um, but you can see it's just establishing in the ground here and some new buds are forming so we're gonna have beautiful orange display in a few days nice. And then in between the hostas, we'll find zucchini because you know, <laughs> why not grow some you vegetables do. inside your inside your space in between my weeds? Excuse me. <laughs> and in the back corner, you'll see just obviously huge, gigantic hostas that need James Graham's love and attention to come and split with me in the fall. Uh, but here, here is George. George. Yes, Here's you can't George. miss him. Hello, George. In between George, you'll see just some some of your average zinnias and, and flowers some hostas mixed with tomatoes my favorite hosta and he's not doing so well is a pandora pandora box i believe or mouse ear one mouse of those ears? two yeah one of so those cute. two ones it never gets very big but he's not thriving and in the back corner my recently picked rhubarb along with a peony where they've all fallen down i know we were talking about that recently about the falling down mm -hmm. peony problem we do have that here uh, it's not doing, there is some beautiful blooms, they're just under everything else. And then a brand new, actually this is only in the last year, established black currant bush. So I really do think we may get fruit this year, we may not, but it's only been here less than 12 months. So 
black currants are, are my favorite. Mm. And there you have it. Okay, well, where are you? There you are. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much, Kim. Thanks, guys, for having me. I hope you enjoyed it, and, and I hope it gives you some ideas, even if you just have a bit of the space on yeah. a balcony or porch. You still can throw a few things into That's some planters great. and have some of your own produce if you like. Thank you so much. So don't forget to like us and subscribe to our channel. And if you have a garden and you would like to show it on our channel, please get in touch with us, waterloogardeners at gmail.com. And we'll come out and put you on display. I love that my mom is a YouTuber. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Thank Good job, you. guys.